Javiera Castillo is learning how to use a gun and says that after just a few lessons, she's mastering how to hold, aim, and fire a weapon. She never dreamed of acquiring such a skill until she and her boyfriend became victims of rising crime in Chile. It was terrifying. They stole our vehicle at gunpoint. I was left in shock. I was afraid to go out at night. Statistically, Chile remains one of the safest countries in a very unsafe region. But in a country where armed robberies and murders were once rare, violent crime has soared in the last few years. You can tell that people are looking over their shoulders a lot more than they used to. According to official figures, murder has gone up 33%, violent robberies 63%, and kidnappings, which was something absolutely unheard of in Chile up until very recently, by 77%. According to the government, much of this violence has been imported, for example, drive-by robberies or murders on motorcycles. This and even more gruesome forms of crime has turned this type of violence into the number one concern concern for the vast majority of Chileans. In April, three policemen were shot dead in the line of duty. Chileans took to the streets to demand radical measures to combat crime and protect police. Under fierce pressure, the left-wing government signed a controversial law on April 6th that gives police the right to use lethal force if necessary under the presumption of innocence. Unlike before, the onus is now on the victim or family members to prove that police abuse their power. It's been nicknamed the trigger-happy law by critics, including Amnesty International and other human rights organizations. The only thing the law does is increase the possibility of human rights violations being committed, as well as increasing impunity by state agents when they commit abuses against citizens. Already a number of policemen who are under investigation for abuse of power and violence have had their cases dropped, since the law is retroactive. But for now, that's not the main concern for most ordinary citizens, who hope that unlike in many neighboring countries, crime will not become just another normal part of life. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.